This half of Canadian professional football, brought to you by Canadian Pacific. Canadian Pacific, serving you in so many ways. Good afternoon, Ted Darling here at field level at Lansdowne Park in a very cold, windy day with the temperature in the mid-30s. Uh, but an hour before game time, it was hailing. The sun has come out. It looks like it could be a good day here at Lansdowne Park. Coach Kay Dalton of the Anna Wentz. Kay, your club started off great this year, then you faded. Uh, but last week, you had a good game against the Argos. Was that any consolation? Well, a loss is any, uh, never any consolation to a coach. Uh, I think that the uh, kids have played pretty well all year. This I'm not disappointed in. A, I'm certainly disappointed in our win-loss record, and uh, I just hope that uh, we can keep the nucleus of our team together, and uh, with the youth we have, maybe someday in the near future, uh, uh, be the type of football team that will be a real challenger in this league. Okay, what does a football coach say to a team in the dressing room before a game like this when you're out of the playoffs and two games left in the schedule? Well, I think I've, I've got enough comments in our kids. That I think just their pride alone is going to carry them into this football game. Uh, they, they're good football players, and they, they want to prove to the Montreal fan that uh, they don't just play for uh, money, that they just don't play for a position in a, in a uh, schedule or in a league, but that they play their best against any opposition at any time on any day. Thanks, Kay Dalton. You good bet. luck. Thank you. Frank Clare, the head coach of the Ottawa Rough Riders. Uh, Frank, last week you had to contend with mud and rain. Today, it's a little different element. You've got to contend with the cold weather, and we might, be able to, we might see some fumbles out there. Well, it's possible, uh, Ted, uh, although it's a pretty good day here. This field is a little slippery, uh, more slippery than a lot of people think right now. Uh, we've had a tarp on it all week, but still we didn't get all that rain out. So uh, uh, you'll see a lot of slipping around, but not a bad field. Finally, Frank. I, would you say that the uh, Alouettes will be throwing the ball a lot today? Yes, and uh, they're very capable. They just showed that in the last Argonaut uh, game down there, and uh, we're quite concerned about them, Ted. But if we play our uh, best, I think we can beat this team. Thanks very much, Frank Clare. Thank you. Now, let's go upstairs. Well, Bernie, we've seen teams out of the playoffs in the final couple of weeks of the season before come up and score some pretty startling upsets. In fact, the Alouettes almost got one last Sunday in Toronto, but there was one you were involved in about eight years ago. 1960, Don, whenever we were last in the league, we were not playing too well, and Ottawa had to uh, win the ball game to uh, get into first place. And uh, we came up with a big football game and beat them for uh, knocking them out of the first place. They were in second place at that time, and Toronto was in. I think today it's professional attitude that uh, makes a ball player go out there and uh, play his best, and I'm sure that this is what the Montreal football team is going to do. And, of course, they're looking for that big upset here against the Riders. Last week we had the rain here at Lansdowne Park. Today, intermittent snow, and if it stays light, I suppose the snow is the lesser of the two evils. Here come the Montreal Alouettes, their defensive team, led by 67, Mike Webster. 64 is Ron Everett. He'll play the right defensive tackle spot for the Alouettes. Big defensive end, the veteran 77, John Baker. Number 62 acquired from the Calgary Stampeders, Bob Trigstad, is Baker's opposite number of defensive end. Number 50 on the left corner is Charlie Collins. Right corner linebacker, number 52, is Willie Adams. Fine veteran middle linebacker, number 53, Al Equier. 34 in the defensive backfield is Mickey Sutton. 15 is Phil Brady. 36 is Jim Walter, another member of the Deep Five for the Alouettes. Number 19, just named winner of the Jeff Russell Trophy, Larry Fairholm. And the monster back for the Alouettes, number 33, Don Murphy, the starting defensive 12 for the Montreal Club, out of the playoffs, but hoping to become the spoilers here against the Rough Riders this afternoon. The Riders will also bring out their starting defensive 12. Number 65, Billy Joe Root. Left defensive end. The starting left tackle, number 53, is Marshall Shirt. Right tackle, number 52, Canadian Jim Kane. 
Starting at right defensive end, 51, Roger Perdrix, although Ed Joyner may be in later on. Line linebacker at the corner, 54, Jerry Campbell, acquired from the Calgary Stampeders. 41, playing in the middle of the secondary is Ken Lehman. 21 is Wayne Giardino. Number 14, Don Southern, who also handles the placements for the Riders. 23 is Billy Cooper from the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Number 15 is Bill Van Berkleyo, the Riders' backup quarterback and defensive halfback. 17, longtime rider Joe Poirier. And 22, Gene Gaines to complete the starting backfield defensively for the Ottawa Rough Riders. 39 degrees at game time in Ottawa. The winds northwest of 20, gusting as high as 30 miles an hour. And as we mentioned a moment ago, we've seen just traces of snow. Seymour Wilson, number 10, is the referee. Gibbs Sagan is the line umpire. The back umpire is Bill Dell, number 25. Bud Wiley is the head linesman. Lauren Woods will be the field judge, the officiating staff for this afternoon's game. So the Montreal Alouettes and the Ottawa Rough Riders are all set. We'll be ready for our national anthem and the opening kickoff after this message. When you go to your butcher, you expect fresh meat. Meat at the peak of its flavor. And keeping meat fresh means constant refrigeration. You know it. Your butcher knows it. And we know it. So at Canadian Pacific, we develop controlled temperature cars for fresh shipment of meats and other perishables. It's another way our specialized freight equipment works for you. Canadian Pacific, serving you in so many ways. The Ottawa Rough Riders know after seeing what almost happened in Toronto last Sunday that they can't take the Montreal Alouettes lightly. The Owls have their last dying gasp for a playoff spot. Beaten in the final two seconds, and a Wally Gaber to Aller went past, but it was just that close between the Argonauts and the Alouettes. And the Alouettes, although they are out of playoff contention now, promise to be just as tough today, although they do have a number of injuries to key personnel, and that may have a bearing on their performance here, although I'm pretty sure they'll be giving their all, even though they can't find a playoff spot in the East in 1968. Those playoff spots far from settled, and it may go right down to the wire between the Riders and the Argonauts for first place on November the 3rd. Now the crowd ready with the band for the playing of O Canada.
Governor General Roland Michener, one of the spectators here on this cold afternoon at Lansdowne Park. The standings in the Eastern Conference, Ottawa in the lead through 12 games with 17 points. Toronto with 16, Hamilton 12, Montreal with 6. And so the Rough Riders have to win today to keep a step ahead of the Argonauts to be playing in Hamilton against the Tiger Cats tomorrow. Don Baker getting set to tee up the ball for the kickoff on Montreal's behalf at the 45-yard line. The deep men for the Ottawa Rough Riders are Washington and Cooper. Vic Washington at the five-yard line, and the Cooper just in behind him near the goal line. Seymour Wilson, number 10, the referee, getting ready to give Baker the signal to get this game underway, and here it is. Gary Campbell tips the ball. Back for it is Cooper. It's loose. That was a free ball down there, but the Rough Riders, Billy Cooper managed to pick it up, and that's a shaky start for him. No, that's a very shaky start. That ball was kicked very short and bounced around, and uh, they just couldn't pick it up. It was almost a recovery there for the Alouettes, and now the Ottawa Rough Riders, deep in their own territory, are going to have to come out of there. I think Coach Dalton made the wise move this time in kicking off. Mickey Sutton, number 34 for the Alouettes, just that far away from recovering it. They lost 10 yards on the kickoff return. And here come the Riders from the 10, first down. Atkins to the right, Tucker to the left. Russ Jackson, of course, to quarterback. And he gives to Washington. Cut down just beyond the 10-yard line by Larry Fairholm, number 19. The gain is going to be less than a yard. So second of a better part of 10 to come for the Ottawa Rock Riders. Washington 27 with Bo Scott to complete the Ottawa backfield. Ronnie Stewart, number 11, of course, playing possibly his final year at the age of 33. There's Stewart. As the backfield now shifts right. Flag thrown. For Tucker, it is too far. Brady defending at the 35-yard line. To be an Alouette offside, Ron Everett 64. Too quickly. That's what it is. Montreal offside. The walk off to the 15 yard line. Down repeated, second and a little less than five. Looks like Whit Tucker's going to be getting a lot of pass on his way this time, Don. Uh, you can't see his moves on this particular play, but he came across on a uh, horse pattern and came back to the sidelines and uh, he had to kill Brady number 15 beaten, but Russ Jackson uh, couldn't get the ball to him. There was a penalty on the play anyway. Yes, we saw Everett 64 just jumping over the line of scrimmage in advance of the snap of the ball. So Tucker is set left, Adkins right, and Stewart players out to the left. We both got short yardage at the 16. And the Riders now will have to kick on third and four. Willie Adams and Bob Krigstad, the tacklers for the Montreal Alouettes. We now send back Mickey Sutton, number 34. And Larry Farrell, number 19, in the area of midfield. This wind is blowing crossfield, but would not favor the Rough Riders in this quarter. Van Berkleo set to punt at the five. Fairholm charging the ball inside the 45, flipping it out. And stepping into touch is Brady near the 40. That's good early field position for the Alouettes. First down from the 40. Larry Fairholm, the Jeff Russell Trophy winner, uh, gambling right there with that football and uh, pitching it out about 15 or 20 yards sideways. Uh, you know, after having good field position down, it was kind of a dangerous move, but uh, it's evidence of what the Alouettes are going to be trying everything today to win this football game. They are first down from just outside the Rough Rider 40. Number 70 is the split end today. Donnie Davis, he is set to the right. Dennis Duncan, the fullback, gets over the 40-yard line near the 37 and has three on the play. Harold Williams, of course, is the athletic fullback. Duncan, 35. Tomlin, 23. Lewis, 10. And Mike Gray, the flanker, 17. Number 23, uh, Ed Tomlin, Don, uh, has been limping around during the early warm-ups out there, and he's in there playing uh, fullback for the uh, Alouettes right now. 17, Gray to the right. Davis this time split in to the left. Duncan and Tomlin set behind Carroll Williams. Basil Bark at center. Hit, hit. 
intercepted by Jerry Campbell. Back to the 41 yard line. Here it is. On this replay, Ed Tomlin on a little check pass. Can't hang on to the football when it's tipped into number 54's arms. Jerry Campbell and Campbell races back. A big break for the Ottawa Rough Riders. That is Jerry Campbell's fifth pass interception of 1968. That's one off the Eastern Conference high. Individual A and the Riders from the 41, our first down. Vic Washington contained at the 44-yard line for a gain of three as they slant him against the flow to the left and Willie Adams, 52, met him for Montreal. Ball at the 43, cuts the game to two. It'll be second and eight. Adams in on the tackle. Bob Trickstead, 62. John Baker, 77 of the Alouette defensive ends. Ron Everett, 64, and Mike Webster, 67. Are the tackles, and Al Equier plays the middle. Lots of time. Now Jackson trips and is down at the 39-yard line. He had receivers all over the place, and I mean deep, down at the Montreal 30-yard line, but Webster and Baker got to him. He had so many open that time, Don, I don't think he can make up his mind which one to throw to, because Jackson. number 27 was so far behind, the deep defender down there, and I think he was trying to set up to find Washington. Whit Tucker was uh, running on a pattern They're open. A he just couldn't, find, well. couldn't make up his mind. The loss is four. They're now third and 12 from the 39. Van Berkeley sets to punt to Sutton and Fairholm. And it's into this win. Fairholm ducks over the 50 for a good return at the Alouette to 54 yard line. 26 yard punt. That's all. There's a timeout on the field at the four and a half minute mark of the first quarter. The score is Ottawa nothing, Montreal nothing. When we say that you get good service at a Canadian Pacific hotel, we mean good service. wherever you go. Whether you stay at the Chateau Frontenac in Quebec City, the Palliser Hotel in Calgary, the Saskatchewan Hotel in Regina, the Empress in Victoria, or at any of the other fine Canadian Pacific hotels across the country. Canadian Pacific, serving you in so many ways. At Lansdowne Park, no recurrence of the snow we saw just before the game. In fact, it's brightening just a little bit. No score at the 54. Here come the Alouettes to scrimmage first down. The swing, screen, out to Tomlin. Incomplete. Ball thrown a little too high. Tomlin having no one really near him in a defensive capacity. So it's second down from the 54-yard line. Still 10 to go for the Montreal Alouettes. Roger Perdricks, Jim Kane, Marshall Shirk, Billy Joe Booth, the front four, Ken Lehman in the middle, and Giardino and Campbell on the corners, the Ottawa defensive line. defending for the Rough Riders. So Williams certainly hasn't lacked confidence, even though a moment or two ago, Bernie, he gave up his 30th pass interception this year to Jerry Campbell. He's going to have to throw in this ball game to win, Don. His big backs are hurting. Number 23 at Tom is limping out there. It was evidence he couldn't catch up with that last little swing pattern. The gain was 20, and from the 36, Al's first down. Out 
to Tomlin. Fumbling out of bounds at the 25-yard line, and they'll mark him down, and the Alouettes will keep possession. Tomlin having trouble, perhaps, uh, with cold hands here in the early going, Wait, hanging out of the ball. Giardino, 21, really popped it loose. They mark it at the 30-yard line, so it's second down and three and a half to go from there. Alouettes getting a chance to take the lead twice. They had their first drive interrupted by the pass interception. Now their deepest penetration of the day at the Rough Rider 30. Catch looked like old Paul Decker there catching that football lumbering into the end zone for a touchdown. He is playing because Roger Murphy cannot play with a shoulder dislocation, and he uh, had to come in for Murphy last Sunday in Toronto to make some great catches too. He's playing tight end and has the Alouettes in front with the attempt for the extra point coming from David Ray, Dave Lewis to hold. Ray is good with it. And the Alouettes take a surprising 7-0 lead over the Ottawa Rough Riders midway through the first quarter here at Lansdowne Park. And this crowd a little shaken, a little unsettled by the turn of events, Bernie. Well, looks to me like uh, Carol Williams uh, made a real professional football call there with second and three and not in close and going back to throwing that football. We talked about that he was going to have to throw the football to win this game. It's tough to run against that big defensive line. And he elected to throw. He threw to a... New acquisition, Della Riva, and Della Riva responded tremendously by leaping and catching the ball and running it in for six. John Baker to kick off on the 45-yard line to Cooper in Washington. Again, it's short. Takes a good roll down to the eight where Cooper has it. He's got room on the sideline. Midfield. And down at the 48 by Larry Fairholm, the Montreal 48. Billy Cooper, number 23, picking up that short kickoff and utilizing his blocking very, very well here. As you see, he sets up blockers. There's a missed tackle by number 74, and there's a great block there by Vic Washington, his run-back companion. And Billy Cooper runs that ball all the way back to about the 47-yard line. He ran it back 54 yards. At the 48, Tucker sets to the left, Adkins to the right, Ottawa first down. Washington ripped up by the first man to meet him, Don Murphy, coming up from defensive safety at the 45. The gain is going to be three yards. They'll be second and seven for the ball carrier. Down at the 46. That kickoff return, it seemed uh, the Alouettes uh, missed a few or the Rough Riders took care of a few assignments very well because that uh, short side, the sideline, was wide open to the speed of Billy Cooper, coming back for 54 yards. Sutton missed the gift interception, and he would have been all the way for the touchdown. No doubt if he'd held the ball, defending Margie Atkins. He played that play perfectly and uh, came up. This is what a defensive halfback looks for, Don, is a play just like that with a wide open territory. The ball is thrown, and look at this. All he had to do was catch and run. But he did not put them in that order. And the Rough Riders, Van Berkeley sets the kick on third and eight. Fairholm at the 10. Missed a clothesline tackle and got back to the 15-16 yard line for the Montreal Alouettes. We do not appear to be a team out of playoff contention by any stretch of the imagination. But Dick traveled only 36 yards into the wind. Jim Kane was the tackler on Larry Fairholm for the Ottawa Rough Riders. It's 7-0 for Montreal. Six minutes and 50 seconds to play in the first quarter on a chilly afternoon, 39 degrees at Lansdowne Park. Oh, 
for Donnie Davis, incomplete at the 20-yard line. The pass thrown behind him, Davis having to come back a step for it. Joe Poirier, 17, was defending on the play. Second and 10 now, Montreal. Owls have only three wins, and they came back-to-back -back in a three-game stretch that produced a record crowd in Montreal at one point of the season. They're now 3-9 and nine on the year with a lead here against the Rough Riders. Williams taking a lot of time. Tipped away by Jerry Campbell looking for his sixth pass interception this year. Not getting it. Mike Gray had been the intended target, number 17. Carol Williams, Don, standing in there very strong. Uh, he was looking for a receiver deep downfield, looking to his left and then throwing to his right. He, he's learning a lot out there in his second year as a professional quarterback. The coaches of the Alouette seem to feel really this is his first year, his first full shot at having the job all to himself with uh, the Montreal Football Club. They consider him a rookie in their minds and uh, look for big things from him in the future. Dave Lewis getting ready to punt. He will have the wind behind him. Just got it away. Cooper at the 51. Crosses midfield of the Montreal 52, and the Rough Riders now have their best field position of the day. Peter Della Riva, 74, tackling Billy Cooper. These two teams have uh, played previously on two occasions, with each winning a game. Montreal 25 to 24, an early season major upset that started the Rough Riders off on a shaky five-game string, and then Ottawa came back. To get out of their slump with a 30 to 20 win over the Alouettes. This is their third meeting of 1968 at Lansdowne Park. Nick Washington swings right. Flag thrown. He is downed a yard in behind the line of scrimmage by Equier and Trigstad. 53 and 62. But there was that marker to contend with, and they'll deal with it now. Washington, the ball carrier. Well, there's the signal from Seymour Wilson. It is holding against the Ottawa Rough Riders, which has been declined by the Alouettes. So the ball stays with the one-yard line, second and 11 at the Montreal 53. That defensive team of the Montreal Alouettes, Don, are putting up a real good stand. Every time they, uh, they've had to go on defense, they've played well. David Ray, 28, has come in for Mickey Sutton, who's getting some equipment repaired at the Alouette bench. Russ Jackson trying to warm his hands here for a second down call. And he'll be throwing. He'll be running. Jackson to the 37 and a half yard line. And he'll move the yardsticks. First down. Jackson seems to be taking a lot of time to throw that football. He's, he has his receivers in the open, but he's dancing around in there. And when he finally does elect to run, he picks up some good yardage. But he had number 26 that time, wide open, down in that left corner. The game 15 as Jackson keeps for the Rough Rider first down. Scrimmaging from the 38 of the Alouettes. Montreal still leading 7-0. We have four minutes of play remaining in this quarter of the first. Paul Scott reaches the 35. Baker and Webster have him there. Scott is the second leading rusher in the Eastern Conference with close to 700 yards for the season going into this game. The leader is Bill Simons of Toronto with 841. Simons hoping to become the first 1,000-yard uh, man in the Eastern Conference. Argonauts playing in Hamilton, of course, tomorrow afternoon. Plenty of time again. He's got Tucker wide open, but the ball doesn't get there. 
And that wind definitely had a bearing on the direction and the length of that pass, Bernie. The wind certainly has a bearing when you're throwing directly into it, Don. It was a long pass to throw, but Tilly had, uh, had Tucker wide open. If he could have unleashed that ball just a little bit sooner, uh, perhaps maybe number 26, Whit Tucker, might have been able to get back to get that football. The wind coming from the northwest uh, blew it right off course. Uh, Tucker had to recover and try to get to it, but could not, as you saw. So they're now third down, and Don Southern will attempt a field goal from the 42-yard line, and the angle is to the right. home watching it roll back he thought it might roll back into the field of play but it's a single point for Southern on the attempted field goal from the 42 the Rough Riders are on the board trailing seven to one and we have a return visit from the snowman again with uh, the flakes just filtering down lightly there's a timeout on the field at the 12 minute mark of the first quarter of the score is Montreal seven and Ottawa one people think of a freight train they think of it as simply carrying freight but that's not quite the way we see it we see our freight trains carrying tractors to farmers outdoor barbecues to the neighborhood expert new cars to families on the go supermarket products to supermarket shelves, TV sets, to football fans, automatic washers and dryers to, to washers and dryers. We see our trains carrying things that matter to people because people matter to us. Canadian Pacific, serving you in so many ways. Lansdowne Park as the fans bundle up uh, to uh, protect themselves from the elements here. 25 yard line, the point of scrimmage following Southern single point on a missed field goal. Era Williams ready to call the first down play. Tomlin has a first down at the 37 yard line. And Berkeley O'Gaines Poirier all there to meet him. Ken Raymond playing a standout game in that middle linebacker. It's taken out on this play that allows number 23 Tomlin to get through for that first down. 13 the game, 38 yard line, point of scrimmage, first down, Montreal. to Tomlin. This time he has about five near the 43-yard line. Booth and Shirk pulling him down for the rough riding. Less than two minutes to play in quarter one, seven to one, with Montreal leading Ottawa. Corrier Van Berkeley all gains Cooper Southern defending against the deep pass from Carol Williams. straight play goes back to Tomlin and he will be close to the first down marker at the 48 yard line there's a tendency on the part of Carol Williams I've detected Bernie I'm sure you have too, to go with plays that work for him whether they're pass patterns or whether they're uh, running plays he seems to go with them in a string if they're working it's, it's not a bad call to come back to back with certain plays uh, Don but if you continue to uh, get into a pattern like this the defensive people will certainly read it also and it's going to be tough to uh, to mix up your plays accordingly. Well, he got a first down out of it at the 48-yard line. Ralph Goldston, one of the Alouette assistant coaches last night, said the trick is to make the defense take that play away from you, to make it stop working. And until they do, just stay with it. And that's part of the Williams secret with the Alouettes. Larry Fairholm and Phil Brady conferring at the bench while their offense moves this ball down here. Duncan at the has two. Yeah. 
as the flag goes up in the first quarter at Lansdowne Park. Temperature now has dropped to 37 degrees in the capital. Mike Gray, 17, and Lewis, 10 to the right. Donnie Davis at the bottom, and then left. For Davis, he's open, can't get to the ball. Donnie Davis, number 70, has big speed and was in behind the defender. At Carol Williams just overthrew him by about two yards there. He threw that ball up in the air to let Donnie Davis run under it. The wind is blowing from that direction and just carried it further than I, I'm sure that Carol anticipated. So Dave Lewis gets set to punt to Ardern and Cooper back near the Ottawa Fun. Kick will come from the 40-yard line. At the 12, Billy Cooper. Good run back to the 30-yard line. Alouette slow down field to meet him. They'll be first down from there with three seconds remaining in the first quarter. <coughs> Cooper brought that back 18 yards after a 48-yard punt. Alouettes had hoped to uh, score another touchdown and almost did trying to hit Donnie Davis. With the wind in their favor in this quarter, the Rough Riders, no doubt it'll be explosive when they have it as the teams change in. The pitch to Volscott. Fights his way near a first down, but a couple short at the 38-yard line. Pushed out by Equier and by Fairholme. The gun sounds. At the end of the first quarter, the score is Montreal 7 and Ottawa 1. We'll have more CFL action after this message. Canadian Pacific flies you to Hong Kong. Canadian Pacific flies you to Mexico. Canadian Pacific flies you to Tokyo. Canadian Pacific flies you to Amsterdam. Canadian Pacific flies you to Rome. Canadian Pacific flies you to Hawaii. Canadian Pacific flies you to South America. Canadian Pacific Airlines will fly you to the Orient, Hawaii and the South Pacific, to Europe, Mexico and South America. 23 destinations throughout the world. And of course, we fly you across Canada too. Canadian Pacific, serving you in so many ways. Frank Clare, dressed for the weather here in Ottawa this afternoon, checking with uh, Jack Gatto, one of his assistant coaches, on the line upstairs. We start the second quarter with a 7-1 to one game. Alouettes in front. Ottawa now will have the win with them. Second down, second down. About a yard and a half to go at the 38 and a half yard line, their own. Jackson takes plenty of time to explain the play. Now they come. Oh, Scott has the first down, bending over the 40-yard line. At the 42, they move the yardsticks. Don Baker and Don Murphy could not contain Bo Scott. Look for Ottawa, Don, to start throwing the ball now quite a bit with that wind. Uh, they certainly have the big receivers to get behind the uh, defenders, and uh, Russ Jackson will probably utilize this. Tucker, number 26, out to the right. Washington there with him. Overshift right to the right. For Tucker, no good in heavy traffic at the Montreal 45-yard line as uh, that ball wobbled its way downfield. Whit Tucker left his feet a little bit early on that particular play, though, uh, Don. I think he misjudged the ball. The Russ Jackson threw, and it was wobbly pass, but uh, it was an area where it could have been caught had Whit Tucker uh, not misjudged that particular pass. Second and ten at the 42. A 
Again, Tucker to the right. Atkins to the left. Shot, and Washington set behind Jackson. Now they move right. Shot on the reverse of Washington back on the reverse. And the Alouettes came over to cover very quickly on the play, and the game's going to be three at the 45. He ran a mile and gained three yards, but what moves this number 27 Vic Washington has? He just wormed his way for those three yards that he finally gained. Give this kid a few blocks, uh, Don, and uh, he can go all the way. Charlie Collins finally ran him out of bounds at the 45-yard line, and they're third down now, seven to go. Riders kicking to Fairholm and Sutton. Fairholm 19, Sutton 34. Sutton to the 36-yard line. The Alouettes will put it in play first down there on a 13-yard return. Jim Kane was the tackler for the Ottawa Rough Riders. The Ottawa club goes into an overshift defense against the uh, Alouettes and put uh, Kenny Lehman in a gap. And uh, one weakness of this defense is run right at Kenny Lehman, and uh, that's probably why number 23 ran so many plays in a row in that last series of the Alouettes. 17 comes this way. Mike Gray, Davis 70, set wide at the top. Tomlin, good yardage at the 43. He'll have six to seven yards with the play. Booth and Giardino to bring him down for the Rough Riders. Coming up in the CFL, tomorrow the Argonauts in Hamilton, Winnipeg in the West against Edmonton. Wednesday, the Eskimos play in Saskatchewan. And then next Saturday, we'll bring you Hamilton at Montreal in the CBC Eastern Network while Saskatchewan plays at BC. Williams to Gray. He has the first down immense near midfield at the Montreal 54. That was a close one. Uh, Don Southern, number 14, had him, and number 17, Gray, slid off him. And there was a lot of yardage out there, but the recovery from inside stopped that play from going a long way. They needed four for the first down. They got 11. Alouette still moving into the wind at the 54-yard line. Davis right, Gray left, the pitch to Duncan. He was caught around the ankles as he flew over the line by Ken Lehman, who made a good defensive recovery as he was down, but still made the stop. The game was two at the Ottawa 54, Montreal's second and eight. 11 minutes and 22 seconds to play, and this is the second quarter, and the Alouettes lead the Rough Riders seven to one. Alouettes had three first downs to one for the Riders in the first quarter. A total offense of 84 for Montreal against 26 for Ottawa. For Lewis at the 45. Out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Another Montreal first down. Giardino made the stop after a 20-yard game. Dave Lewis on a breakout pattern on uh, was the chap that uh, made that yardage. There's a timeout on the field at the five-minute mark of the second quarter. The score is Montreal 7 and Ottawa 1. You've probably seen most of Canadian Pacific's trucks on the road at some time. Hauling everything from meat to machine parts. All kinds of trucks, from low beds to trailer trains. But we doubt that you've seen one of these before. This tank trailer was specially built to transport sulfuric acid and molten sulfur to a pulp mill on Vancouver Island. We've got a lot of trucks carrying a lot of goods to a lot of markets across Canada. So if you've got something to ship, we can move it. 
If we can't, we'll find a way. We'll even take to the water to do it. Canadian Pacific, serving you in so many ways. You'd like to check the proficiency of the two quarterbacks today. Carol Williams is good on five of ten pass attempts for 87 yards. Russ Jackson is yet to hit a completion in three attempts for Ottawa. First down, Montreal, Ottawa 34-yard line. Tomlin reaches the 30. Hitting straight ahead on that play that went so well for the Owls late in the first quarter. Jim Kane, 52, with the tackle for the Rough Riders. The advance four yards, second and six to come for Montreal. They're playing against the wind just about as well as they did with the wind, Bernie. They're moving the ball well, Don, controlling it in this period so far. Williams taking plenty of time. He may have drawn them outside. Booth missed the tackle. The pitch for Della Riva. No good. With Billy Cooper defending at the goal line. They'll sort out these penalty markers that were thrown as that play unraveled. That was a long play. Della Reaver, number 74, running all over the field, and also Carol Williams, number nine. Carol makes a great play here by getting away from Billy Joe Booth. Gives him a stiff arm, as you see there. Sets up to throw the ball to number 74, and it's a very close call down here, but as you see, it was an incompleted pass. Just as the play started, Bernie, that's an indication of the wind velocity here today out of the northwest 20 to 30. As the play started, 41, Lehman uh, beat the count across the line. And the five-yard penalty is to the 25, second and one, Montreal. And there is Tomlin to get the first down. Giardino, 21, tackled him for Ottawa. The advance was to the 21 and a half yard line. The Alouettes putting on an amazing display here against the first place team in the East, the Ottawa Rough Riders, leading 7-1, pressing to add to their lead now near the midway point of the second quarter. Dennis Duncan crosses the 20-yard line and is down to about the 17. Ray Campbell, 54, Ken Lehman, 41, the tacklers. And down and about five to go. Frank Clare with an animated conversation trying to figure out how to stop Carol Williams and a Montreal offense that has been a whole lot tougher to deal with than the coaching staff of the Rough Riders may have figured. Williams or Davis, he did not turn around in time to see that ball coming. That's a quick out. Uh Don, just after the five-yard uh, area, and Donnie Davis did turn around. Carol Williams threw that ball. He rifled it out there, and uh, just a little bit uh, too fast. David Ray, number 28, there, flexing that leg, getting ready for the field goal attempt for the Alouettes on third and five. The point of scrimmage is the 16-yard line, and the attempt will come from the 24. Dave Lewis, number 10, is set to hold. Ray has one as long as 52 yards in the CFL this year. This one is good from the 24-yard line, and the Alouettes run their lead to 10-1 over the Ottawa Rough Riders with about eight minutes to play until halftime. And I can imagine Leo K. Hill and his coaching staff in Toronto rubbing their hands with glee with the field goal by Ray that gives the Alouettes a nine-point lead. Rough Riders, with or without the wind, have not been that impressive so far today, but we've got a long way to go. The fans are getting the chant up, Don. They want the Rough Riders to move, and let's see what they're going to do now. First down at the 35. was the original tackle. The Scots five yard pickup makes it second and five from the 40. Second down, Ottawa, five 
Jets got their touchdown on a pass to Della Riva. They got their field goal, as you saw a moment ago, from David Ray. Stewart is in the slot left. The ball Scott. Scott has the first down at the 49-yard line on the gain of nine. Trigstead, 62, and Fairholme, 19, pushing him out to a very muddy sideline just by the Montreal bench. Bo Scott, number 16, the big fullback, uh, can pick him up and lay him down. He had a couple of good blockers out there in front of him, the 56 and 55, Braggins and Shooty that time, enable him to pick up that yardage necessary for the first down. It rained at Ottawa yesterday. This field, though, partially covered by a tarpaulin, is not in bad shape. Except at the sideline, as Scott just found out. Complete. Montreal 39 yard line. Margene Atkins coming from the offside that time as Jackson's rolling to his right. He has Tucker going deep. And here he's throwing it back in front of number 27. Margene Atkins, number 73, catches the football for a good game. John Baker with a hands up just about tipped that ball, but it got to Atkins. The game is 22 yards and it's first down. Ottawa at the 39. Nick Washington has seven yards near the 32. Nick Washington picking his hole nicely on, uh, on that play on a handoff from uh, Jackson. He runs in there very hard, draws quite a few people, but he picks up good yardage. Second and three from the 32 of Montreal. Six minutes and 10 seconds to play in the first half. Second and three. Low spot. He's got room. Touchdown. Riders have their first major of the day. Bo Scott. 10 to 7, and Southern's attempt for the extra point is coming right up. Jackson will hold. The kick is good. It's 10 to 8. We'll see on the replay. Great block by Morrissey to spring him loose for the 32 yards and the touchdown. Traveled 75 yards in five plays, four rushing and one passing to get that score. The Alouettes are sending Duncan and Tomlin back near the goal line. On Southern's kickoff. Tomlin at the 10. At the 19-yard line, that's all. Jerry Campbell, number 54, with a sure first tackle. Sixty-five yard kickoff and a nineteen yard return. Mike Gray to the right. Errol Williams, the first down call. Handles after him. He gets it away to Tomlin, but they lose three on the play. Marshall Shirk with the tackle. Now here's that touchdown. 
Number 62, the big right tackle, makes the block, the key block, to spring Bo Scott down that sideline. So we talked earlier about Bo Scott. He has good speed, and once he gets the block outside, he can go all the way, which he did. And that's the play that produced the 10 to 8 score we have now. The Alouettes losing three on the escape pass by Williams with the 16, second, and 13. out on the 24 yard line but he will not have the first down Marshall Shirk chasing him in the touch Williams calls a lot of uh, automatics up at that line of scrimmage on this particular play he drops in the pocket and he can't find his receiver open and scrambles well picks up a few yards but not quite enough for a first down and you'll see the uh, the defense the Ottawa defense number 22 Gene Gaines jumping up into the line and back out and some of the other defensive men moving around trying to confuse Carol Williams on his automatics. Dave Lewis will punt to Cooper and Ardern stationed at the 50 and 45 of the Rough Riders. And into the win, that's a pretty good kick. Cooper at the 42. Della Riva has him at the 49 yard line up near the 50. Yard return and into the wind. Dave Lewis got that away 44 yards. He rates with the better punters in the Eastern Conference in 1968. His average 46.7. The same as Toronto's Dave Mann, only one yard behind Joe Zuger of Hamilton. And so the punting contest was wiped out of the wire in the Eastern Conference, too. Lewis averaging 45 yards today. Russ Jackson with a first down call. Remarkable recovery by Jackson as he steps out on the 43-yard line. Jackson was cornered on this particular play, Don. He, he was held, actually. Uh, he, he should have been tackled. He spun out of the arms of a tackler and ran down the sidelines and uh, like a smart quarterback for the early part of this ball game jumps out of bounds rather than lowering a shoulder and taking a shot. Gain 18 yards and from the 43 of Montreal the Rough Riders challenging now to take the lead by half time. They trail 10 to 8. Adkins 73 spread left at the bottom. Washington with the ball. Brigstead finally has him at the 40-yard line. The game's going to be three, but a hard-earned three for Vic Washington. Looked like a wrestling match there for a minute, uh, Don, standing up there in the line. There's a timeout on the field at the 12-minute mark of the second quarter. The score is Montreal 10 and Ottawa 8. This is the new breed of railway man. He can tell you a lot about the new way of railroading the Canadian Pacific way of railroad. He can tell you about specialized freight cars designed to take any freight you've got, and how our electronic scanners will soon enable us to tell exactly where on our system your freight is, instantly. He can tell you about Robot One, the rolling computerized control center that will help us to handle more freight faster than ever before. And about our computer installation, one of the largest in Canadian industry, and how it helps us move your freight more efficiently. Yes, he knows a lot about computers and electronic technology. But don't let him fool you. He's still a railway man at heart. Canadian Pacific, serving you in so many ways. 10 to 8, just three minutes to play until half time. Rough Riders scrimmaging from the 40-yard line. Russ Jackson has carried the ball twice, and he's gained 33 yards today. At the 10-yard line, tip 
knocked away by Don Murphy. Jay Roberts, the tight end, had been the receiver. You know, it uh, never ceases to amaze me. Russ Jackson on that rollout. It's tough to get him. He has good protection. He's sending everybody deep. He has four receivers deep on that particular play, and uh, the ball has to be thrown 35 to 40 yards, and yet he still had plenty of time to throw that football. He's getting excellent protection out there uh, today. Non Southern warming up for another field goal attempt. Here in a single point, trying one into the win from the 42. Now he tries one from the 47 with the win. Almost ran out of gas. It's 11 10 on Southern's field goal, and I guess they'll count Bernie no matter how artistic they might be. Well, it's like throwing a pass end over end. If it comes into the end zone and it's caught for a touchdown, it goes in the record books as a touchdown, but not as a spiral, so it doesn't make any difference. 11 10 Rough Riders, two and a half minutes until half time, and they have mounted quite a come here, down 10 to 1 to the Alouettes at one point. Gray 17 out to the left and Davis 70 to the right. Motion backs Duncan and Conlon. Duncan with the ball over the 40 yard line to the 41 for six. Campbell made the tack. Ed Tomlin is really limping on the field down there, Don. Uh, they must not have a replacement for him, but as you see him walking in and out of the huddle, you see him favoring that leg. It's number 23 of the Alouettes. Alouettes are hampered by injuries today. Uh, Tomlin not yet recovered from the broken foot he suffered earlier. He gets more work. Reaches the 44-yard line, but will not have the first down. He'll miss by two at the 43. Okay, Dalton sends in his hunting team with a minute and 52 seconds remaining in the first half and as you can see Tomlin is limping as he comes out 23 is Billy Cooper and 20 is our dirt he's back at the 25 yard line showing an abundance of respect for Dave Lewis as a punter Scoop it up and then he's surrounded. Peter Della Riva leading the delegation downfield to greet him. Ball is at the 31 yard line, and the Rough Riders have 128 in which to do something with it. Murphy meeting Vic Washington at the 43 yard line. Russ Jackson called the play before they were on the field and just lined up on the line of scrimmage and caught the uh, Montreal Alouettes napping at that particular time. You may call two plays in a row again. Gain was 12 for the first down. First down. Russ Jackson, uh, plenty of time to throw the football as we were talking about. He's only thrown to uh, Atkins once all afternoon. He rolls to his right and he's throwing back to the weak side. To Atkins coming across from the, the strong side, and you'll see him. The ball is a little bit underthrown. Atkins catches the ball going backwards and is brought down. Jackson set to throw again. up all the more to 17 to 10. They can make it 18 with the attempt for the extra point. They've mounted a fantastic comeback here in the second quarter. 
Southern with a kick. Jackson the hole. And it's good. Ottawa leading 18 to 10. 37 seconds until halftime. Don, that was a fantastic play by Russ Jackson that time. He went back in his pocket, saw the opening up the center. He came up the center, and he looked like he was going to cut back to the right. He ran into one of his own ball players who knocked him away from a deep vendor, a red shirt. And the next thing we knew, uh, Jackson was uh, putting his head down and running into the end zone, and he went into the end zone standing up. It was a real fine play for Russ Jackson. Southern setting up the ball at the 45-yard line. More snow here in Ottawa. Ever so light, but nevertheless a reminder of the months to come. Duncan and Tomlin to receive the kickoff. Duncan has to go by, as does Tomlin. He's 15 yards deep. Out to the four. Where Perdrick's number 51 meets him on behalf of the Rough Riders. 65-yard kickoff from Don Southern. We've got 25 seconds left now. The ball with the four. Montreal first down. The Riders, with their explosive demonstration in this quarter, have taken the play away from the Alouettes and have good momentum going for them now, both offensively and defensively. They were very sluggish as this game started. The clock moving down to 10 seconds. Tomlin at the seven yard line is upended there. Gene Gaines, 22 hit him. And an Alouette player is shaken up. This may or may not have been the last play of the first half. Peter Dallariva is the injured player for the Alouettes. And Tomlin limping quite in a pronounced fashion. Number 23, there's Dallariva getting assistance. He came in for Roger Murphy midway through the game last week when Murphy suffered a shoulder injury. Dallariva being helped out, appears to have uh, suffered a facial injury to his nose. That brings in Peter Paquette, number 26. <clears throat> There'll be time for one more play. Alouette scrimmaging from the seven and a half yard line. So Paquette on this uh, last play, playing the tight end, will get a great initiation here. They just decide to use up the remaining time, plunging ahead at the 10-yard line, and the gun sounds to end the first half of play with an 18 to 10 score. The Rough Riders in front of the Montreal Alouettes. The Alouettes scoring first, a touchdown strike to Della Riva. And then Ottawa's single and a missed field goal by Don Souther and made it 7-1 to one after one quarter. And the Owls didn't stop there. They went ahead 10-1 to one on Dave Ray's field goal. And then the Rough Riders finally got their machine moving with a touchdown run by Bo Scott of 32 yards to bring the score to 10-8. to eight. And Then a Southern field goal from 47 yards that just limped over the bar, 11-10. to 10. And then Jackson walking in for the touchdown after a long setup to Margene Atkins. And it's 18-10 to 10 at halftime. On the field with his guest is Ted Darling. With me now, the defensive halfback with the Montreal Alouettes, Larry Fairholm, and the winner of the Jeff Russell Award. And Larry, that uh, was quite an honor. Yes, it certainly is, Ted. I'm very pleased to win it. And uh, I'll cherish that award for a long time. Larry, it's quite a ball game here in the first half. The Alouette started fast. And uh, was there any specific strategy you, you had to date defensively against the uh, Riders, of course, with their big passing game? Well, exactly what they did to us in the second quarter. We had to stop them with the big bombs, home run bombs that we call them. They scored 18 points or 17 points in that second quarter. And a team like Ottawa, they can score anywhere from, from any point in the field. Was there any missed assignment on that uh, 
long pass just before the half with uh, Margene Atkins. Well, we were just discussing it there. We were in his own defense. And um, I still don't know where Atkins came from, but uh, we had a deep, as I say, a deep zone set up. And uh, I still don't know where he came from, actually. A couple of times, the Riders had uh, long yardage on second down. Took out the two defensive tackles and put another couple of the defensive backs in there. Well, this is a, uh, a pass, uh, pass defense that we uh, have uh, set up against the Ottawa passing attack. They have a tendency to throw when it's uh, second down and long, and we uh, want to get some more defensive backs in there to uh, help against the pass. All right, thanks very much to Larry Fairholm, and good luck in that second half. Thank you very much. Incidentally, we'll have some action super slow motion coming up uh, at our halftime feature here at Lansdowne Park in that game between the Ottawa Rough Riders and the Hamilton Ticats last week here at Lansdowne Park. So the score is Ottawa 18 and the Montreal Alouettes 10. And we'll continue with our halftime show right after this message. Meet Everett and Mabel Ferguson. They've traveled a lot. As a matter of fact, they're just coming back from Europe now with Canadian Pacific Airlines. Good trip, Everett. Everett and Mabel went to Amsterdam first, and then they really did Europe from there. Copenhagen. Munich. Mm, watch it, Everett. Paris. Ah, Paris. Spain. The Costa del Sol. Where's Mabel? Oh. Lisbon. And then they went to Athens, Rome, and then home. The fast, friendly way Canadian Pacific Airlines. When you go to Europe, ask your travel agent to book you CPA or call us. We'll put you in the picture. Canadian Pacific, serving you in so many ways.
So the score is Ottawa 18 and Montreal 10, and we'll continue with our halftime show right after this message. Microwaves. Microwave circuits transmit an amazing variety of things. Color television, weather maps, computer data, radio programs, and business calls. All at the same time. All at the speed of light. Eighty years ago, Canadian Pacific could send only telegraph messages. Today, our microwave circuits play a large role in sending you instant information for your pleasure or business. Canadian Pacific, serving you in so many ways. This half of Canadian professional football, brought to you by Canadian Pacific. Canadian Pacific, serving you in so many ways. This is the CBC Television Network. Canadian professional football. Another General Motors sports action presentation brought to you by GM dealers across Canada who invite you to see and drive the mark of excellence cars. At halftime, the Alouettes uh, don't have the advantage they had over Ottawa at the end of the first quarter, statistically speaking, although it's pretty close at the same time. Seven first downs to six with Ottawa on the lead. They outrush the Alouettes 136 to 71. The Owls Carroll Williams, the slight edge in passing 85 to 76. The total offense is 208 for the Riders and 156 for the Alouettes. Williams hitting on 50%, 6 of 12. Jackson having chances to throw, plenty of time, not getting away that many passes, only six, and he made good on two, but one especially, a long gainer setting up their touchdown that put them ahead. Interceptions, the one by Jerry Campbell off Carroll Williams. The putting, 42 yards on the average for Dave Lewis and 34 for Bill Van Berkeleo. The one fumble was not lost, and the penalties, one offside apiece. The field goals, also one for each team. Individually, Russ Jackson had three carries for 46 yards. He's the top rusher in this game, even more than the workhorse of the Alouettes, Tomlin, who took the ball eight times for 43 yards. Jackson, though, lost four in attempting to pass. Pass receivers, Margene Atkins leads the ball. He caught two for 76 yards in the first half of play. The score is Ottawa 18 and Montreal 10. We'll continue the things that count that come from Pontiac. An exclusive new grill divider made from a new impact absorbing material that pops back into shape after it's bumped. And on most models, thick vinyl moldings that provide a kind of bumper protection the length of the car. Beautiful full glass picture windows. Pontiac has eliminated no draft windows. A quiet, draft-free upper-level ventilation system directs fresh air into the car through adjustable louvers as you drive along. Wide track for a smoother ride and road-hugging stability. On V8 models, a 350 cubic inch power plant, the biggest standard V8 ever offered by Pontiac. So break away from drive-alike cars in a wide track Pontiac. Count the things that count, that come from Pontiac. You know, Bernie, for a team that doesn't have much at stake, the Alouettes are giving the Rough Riders fits this afternoon and putting on a pretty good show. They are, Don. The uh, first half of the first quarter especially, they uh, dominated the first quarter. Uh, they kicked off, took the wind advantage, and uh, once they turned in against the wind, they still uh, were doing a real fine job. And uh, it looks to me like uh, the... Ottawa Rough Riders Club is coming on a little bit too strong. The strength is starting to show and uh, wear down the uh, torn, tattered Montreal Alouette football team. 
We have some highlights, of course, in the first half. Uh, some spectacular scoring plays. Uh, the Alouettes uh, hitting first on a touchdown to Della Riva, and the only reason he is playing is because Roger Murphy was hurt. Della Riva himself injured later in the half, but no doubt we'll see him back later on. But what an acquisition. What a find to come in and relieve your regular man at tight end. He looks like a, a big Paul Decker uh, playing out there. He came in and uh, is doing a fine job blocking and uh, receiving uh, the football. Uh, the injury to his uh, face, I think he must have taken a shot in the nose or the mouth because he was coming off and bleeding a little bit. Uh, but staying in there and uh, he'll be back in the, in the second half, I know. Looked for a while as though the wind wouldn't be a factor, but it turned out to be uh, quite a factor to get Ottawa going. They just couldn't get started today. They finally overcame it. Jackson was having trouble throwing the ball into that wind. Uh, he likes to throw long. Uh, he, he doesn't throw too many short passes. He, Gets uh, people down for four deep receivers all the time, and uh, he was having trouble throwing the deep ball against the wind. Once they turned around and went with the wind, the ball seemed to go better for him. Carroll Williams can fool a lot of defenses. Uh, he uh, will require adjustment, I think, by the Rough Riders at halftime today. Well, uh, this is true, Don. He, he's calling a lot of automatics at the line of scrimmage, as you all know, and uh, here he is now. That's right, and he's throwing that pass. This is the uh, number 74, Della Riva, and he does a great job getting into the end zone. There's a second play. This is the uh, Bo Scott touchdown. And look at the block by number 62 and 56. Mo Racine, 62 for the touchdown. Okay, and the score is Ottawa 18 and Montreal 10. We'll return with the second half kickoff in just a moment. There are very many good reasons for buying a 1969 Acadian. Oh, come on. There's only one reason. It's a beautiful car. Consider its new interiors and torque drive semi-automatic for just $81.05. Uh-uh. Just one reason. It's beautiful. And all those low-cost option packages that let you have Acadian exactly the way you want it. And that SS350 high-performance option that gives you a big V8, disc brakes, and... I'll say it again. There's only one reason to buy the 1969 Acadian. It's a beautiful, beautiful car. Uh, then there's Acadian's Economical Standard 6, and it's easy-shifting, fully-synchronized manual transmission. Nope. One reason. Beauty. Of course, it is the lowest-priced North American car your Pontiac dealer sells. Mm, uh, like I keep saying, there are only two reasons for buying an Acadian. It's beautiful, and it's low-priced. <laughs> Ron Chevrier with Bernie Filoni, Ted Darling, Art Darch, your spotter, and statistician Ron Andrews back at Lansdowne Park. Go to the second half. Here come the Montreal Alouettes. We're putting up quite a fight here, right on the Rough Riders home park. Trailing 18 to 10, but they had a 10 to 1 lead at one point. And as the Argonauts can attest, you can never say you've got the Alouettes pinned down. In fact, the Rough Riders know that too. They once blew a 17 0 lead, wound up losing 25 24 in the early part of the 68 CFL season to the Montreal team. While they don't have much at stake, they certainly are putting up a solid performance here this afternoon. A lot of jobs for next year on the line, and as the coaching staff of the Alouettes told us last night, we're only three or four players away from having a real solid, strong football team. And that appears to be the case as the Alouettes play out the string in the CFL season. The Rough Riders were explosive in the second quarter, striking for 17 of their 18 points. Kay Dalton, the ever-optimistic coach of the Alouettes, coming out to give his boys a final word. They'll have to find a way to score some points uh, against this Rough Rider team, always difficult to contain. When Russ Jackson's having a good day, they're sometimes impossible to hold back. Tomorrow, of course, it'll be Toronto playing in Hamilton. And if both the Argonauts and the Rough Riders win, they will have a showdown for first place on the final day of the season, November the 3rd at CNE Stadium in Toronto. Seymour Wilson, number 10, the referee in chief. Sees the ball blow off the kicking tee, and they'll have to replace it. 23, Billy Cooper, and 27, Dick Washington. Getting ready to receive John Baker's kick to start the third quarter. Little flurries of snow you can see in the air. Ever-present 
In Ottawa this afternoon, 37 degrees at the present time is the temperature. Baker's kickoff. Hops out of bounds inside the 20-yard line. And they will take it back and do it again. On the 35 this time, if the Rough Riders still elect, and they do. Tonight on Hockey Night in Canada, the Boston Bruins and the Toronto Maple Leafs from Maple Leaf Gardens. The Olympic Games coverage continuing on CBC television as well. Tomorrow, for example, the impressive closing ceremonies. That's on the Olympic Report and also the Equestrian Grand Prix. Watch it all on your Olympic Network, CBC. From the 35, Baker's second attempt at a kickoff. This one straight to Washington at the 15. That ball came loose, and the Alouettes pick it up at the 45-yard line. Ron Everett, number 64, looked to be the one to pick it up as Washington fumbled after a great return. Everett lunging for the ball, 64 after O'Brien, 48, and made the stop on Vic Washington. So that's a major break for the Alouettes to start this third quarter. First down, just outside the rider, 45. Six yard line, Gene Gaines defending Dave Lewis, and there wasn't any more that Gaines could have done except maybe intercept the ball. He tipped it and got a piece. Don Souther, number 14, was in front there. Don, you'll see here that uh, Don had his hands on the ball. He thought he had an interception, went right through his hands, and Dave Lewis caught the ball for a reception. First down from the 26. Returns to the 20 yard line. Ray Lightjack finally stopped Joe Poirier. That's the 31st interception against Kara Williams, the second of today's game. Dave Lewis on a breakout pattern. The ball was a little bit uh, late getting there, and Joe Poirier, the Loyola All Star Hall of Famer, has intercepted that football. Well, that's a tough break as Williams is dejected and says, Well, what can you do? Rough Riders from the 20, first down. Ronnie Stewart. Gets about a yard. Mickey Sutton grabs him at the 21. second and about nine to go. Adkins 73 at the back of the huddle. Well, Jackson, of course, the quarterback. Tucker 26 breaking out right. Adkins to the left. And they took too long to put the ball in play. And I have uh, suspected this would be called before now, Bernie. There have been uh, major delays on the part of both quarterbacks this afternoon getting the play started. Both quarterbacks are trying to read that defense down there, especially in the Back case of Carroll Williams. He's been taking a lot of time at the line of scrimmage. Jackson takes more time in the huddle. In this case, uh, he might be trying to run out the clock here, too, taking as much time as he can on each play, Don. At the 17, a penalty of five yards, second down and 13. because he didn't see the sideline in time has to step out at the 30 yard line but that is near the first down marker and may be a rough rider first down Bill Brady defending on the sideline you know these patterns of Whit Tucker's running down he's running down and, and giving three or four different moves before he breaks back that was a comeback type of a pattern and Jackson had plenty of time to throw it throw it well 
And it's, let's see how close it's going to be for this uh, first down. Good enough. First down, Rough Riders from their own 30-yard line. A weird beginning to the third quarter with the Riders losing the ball on a fumble. Then the Alouettes moving in, only to give it up on a pass interception by Poirier. The crowd here today, 17,700. No Scott. As five and a half yards just over the him out. Riders lead 18 to 10. As you watch that uh, little pitch to Bo Scott, watch number 62, Mo Racine, the right offensive tackle, and number 56, Shooty, as they come out and uh, take on the corner linebacker and the inside linebacker to enable Scott to break up that field. the 45 they'll rule out a completion and a fumble and if there had been more field well the Alouettes might have had themselves a break there number 73 Margie Atkins was right there on the spot though Don to uh, to help with this this play Jackson throws the pass it's complete to 27 Washington there's the ball going away and what's number 73 coming in there steps right in front of 19 and out it goes so it's first down at the 43-yard line, their own for the Rough Riders. Washington set wide right now. Scott goes the other way. Against the strength, it has a couple over the 45. Al Equier, 53, was the Montreal tackler. Jackson running this football down. It takes more time to uh, between each play, and he's utilizing number 61 Bainan and 55 Braggins to the left on the little pitch, and then to the right 56 Shooty and 62 Racine on those blockers. Ray and Lewis come into the defensive lineup for Montreal now. They take out Webster and Everett. Their two defensive tackles. This will be interesting. Jackson chased out at the 53-yard line. They evidently uh, did not plan any rush on Jackson at all, except for the two defensive ends. They wanted some extra deep backs in there just to come back and uh, cover off all of Jackson's receivers, and that they did. They forced Russ to run. He got up near the first down marker, but maybe just short. There's a timeout on the field. At the four-minute mark of the third quarter, of the score is Ottawa 18 and Montreal 10. Smitty? Yeah, boss. You did a great job hiding the windshield wipers on our Pontiacs. Thanks. This year, we have a real challenge for you. Here, hide the radio antenna on that new Grand Prix. Nope, not under here. Not here. Want to give me a hint? It's not under there. <laughs> okay, Smitty, you've got me stumped. Now, where is it? Come on now, enough is enough. Tell me where it is. Tell me where the See your Pontiac dealer. Maybe he'll show you where Smitty hid the radio antenna on the new Pontiac Grand Prix. You blithering idiot, where is it? Riders on the measure get the first down at their own 53. And the Alouettes now send in their two defensive tackles, Everett and Webster, again. After replacing them with Ray and Lewis, a couple of extra deep backs to cover off receivers of the previous play. Oh, Scott. 
for a yard at the 54 by Al Equier, 53. Here come the hot dog, Bernie. You've got time before you eat one. Let's talk about Vic Washington, number 27, and you just mentioned Al Equier, number 53, the middle linebacker, on the uh, play just before that last one. Vic Washington came back and put a good block on Equier and knocked him down. So that Washington is an all-round football player. Second and nine. away by Jim Walter with Tucker waiting for the ball the 15 yard line that ball's hanging up there just a little bit as you can see there it's a long pass against that win and look at number 27 all by himself just a little further away from number 26 with Tucker Washington was all by himself the Alouettes have Sutton 34 and Fairholme 19 at the 20-yard line for Van Berkeley's third down kick. Riders third and nine. They'll kick from near the 45. Fairholme slides under a wave at the 30. Back uh, for the punt return, stopped by Tom Pullen, number 71. 28 yards, the length of the kick. So near their 31, the Alouettes still trailing by eight, 18 to 10, our first down. At one point last Sunday, they trailed Toronto 22 to 11, and came back to go ahead 25-22 before losing on the final play of the game. to the 35 to the 38 he's got nearly seven yards with that play and Berkeley Owen Gaines 15 and 22 with a rough rider tackle Tomlin doing a great job with a bad leg out there if he had good wheels under him he may have been uh, off to the races on that particular play but he's, he's a workhorse for the Alouettes all afternoon Don second and three Ray with Lewis wide Rider 54, Gene Gaines forcing him out there. Dennis Duncan with a good recovery on the reception. Watch the fake to Tomlin on this, and Williams th throws the ball. Duncan makes a fine catch and is pulled down by Gene Gaines. Colby, Al's keep plugging away. Inside Ottawa territory now at the Rough Rider 54. Strength is to the right. to Williams. Gaines missed him. Campbell missed him. Giardino finally pushing him out of the 43-yard line. It's a first down. It's a first down and a scrambling play for number nine, Carol Williams, and a great play it was, too. Getting to the outside and literally just outrunning and out faking on a couple of occasions here. There's a good block to help him get outside. Gene Gaines misses him, and Carol Williams goes down the sideline for a first down. They all had shots at him. Finally, there's Giardino pushing him out. Yeah. Line complete inside the 40-yard line to Donnie Davis. He's out of the 38. The gain is going to be five, second and five for Montreal. Seven minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the third quarter, 18-10, the Rough Riders lead. Ends his body over the 35-yard line, reaching out with the ball as far as he can for the first down. Indicated by Seymour Wilson, the referee. Having a great day despite the injury we've been referring to. 
limping quite noticeably near the end of the second quarter. Still able to run those plays from scrimmage. Then carries for 51 yards. Tomlin is jumping. Heavy traffic stopped at the 30-yard line for a gain of two. Vic Washington, number 27, talked about an all-round football player, is now playing defensive left halfback for the Ottawa Football Club, where he played uh, early in the season before he started playing so much on offense. yard line he'll just miss the first down not finding the receiver he wanted in the clear and Braggins 55 normally an offensive guard made the tackle With little doubt the Rough Riders have a versatile football club several players they can move around to almost any position Washington going back is the lone deep man on this third down play David Ray number 28 will be attempting a field goal for the Alouettes on the 32-yard line. Dave Lewis, number 10 to hold. He'll kick with an angle left. He's got it. The Alouettes on Dave Ray's 32-yard field goal reduced the margin to 18 to 13. Five minutes and 46 seconds to play in the third quarter at Lansdowne Park. And this has been quite a game. I think everybody figured it to be a runaway before we got here this afternoon. This is so done, and it's uh, just as it was in the first half when the Alouettes had the wind advantage. The Rough Riders couldn't move the football. And uh, then it turned around the second quarter when the Ottawa Club did get the football and the wind and were able to move it for 18 points. With Tucker coming out to the right, first down Rough Riders at their own 35. Washington and Scott are the setbacks. Play goes to Scott. Hits the 40 for five. Everett 64 stopped him for the Alouettes. And here comes that defensive change again for Montreal. They send in Lewis and Ray and take out the two tackles, number 67 and number 64, Everett and Webster. They're expecting the Rough Riders, of course, to throw. An extra deep coverage against them. See if Jackson decides to cross them up or not. Bridgestad as Russ at the 40-yard line. He'll lose, and the Riders will be third down with more than five to go. So it paid off, at least on that play. It did on that play, Don. That, uh, I'm surprised at Russ Jackson that particular play because uh, they did this before. They moved those two tackles out of there and put deep men in, and it's an ideal situation to run that football with backs like Washington and Scott. Uh, it would be a, an ideal play. And Berkeley out of punt. On the third. Air Hall at 45 watches the ball roll out of bounds. The Alouettes will start from the 45, trailing 18 to 13. 426 remaining. Wind still a factor here, although perhaps not quite as much as in the first half. Is at the backs of the Alouettes in this quarter. Out of the northwest at 20. And here comes the snow again, Don. It's uh, starting to blow up again, and the snow's coming in on the field. Dave Lewis has been shaken up on that last defensive play, and uh, Dave, or, uh, Dave Ray, yes, number 28, is in for him. Out to Duncan. All by himself, pulled down by 17, Joe Poirier. And now... Lewis apparently okay coming back into the game. Ray returns to the bench. Basil Bark, number 45, spotting the Montreal huddle. The game was four, so they have six to go on second down now at their own 49. Three and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. 
Gray wide to the right. Duncan. We'll have the first down at the Ottawa 54. Jerry Campbell, number 54, with the tackle for the Rough Riders. He just backed over the midfield stripe and moved the yardsticks. While the Owls have had the win, Williams has not taken real advantage of it uh, with the passing game. Uh, he's been mixing his plays very well, but Tomlin and Duncan have been doing much of the work in advancing the ball for the Alouettes running. Out to Tomlin. Pretty hard to bring down. They finally drop him at the 46 and a half. Jerry Campbell, 54, again with the Rough Rider tackle. There's a timeout on the field. At the 12 minute mark of the third quarter, the score is Ottawa 18 and Montreal 13. July 20th, 1968. We gave a family who owns a 1965 Buick a special preview look at the 1969 Buick Wildcat. Here's what they had to say about it. I am very impressed. I think this is really going to appeal to women. Oh, it just has the look of luxury. It looks more like a sports car than it has in the past. I think the Wildcat is a sleek car. It's a, uh, upholstery. It looks so comfortable. Well, it isn't, it isn't going to take much care. The new instrument panel is just excellent in, the, in that uh, it's all within the reach of the driver. It's really a cool car. It's <laughs> nice. Well, I think that that engine should be, should, it will be respected, and it maybe it'll even rule. It's wild. It's really wild. I, I think that that's about the best words for it. It's really wild. Buick owners keep selling Buicks for us. Wouldn't you really rather have a 1969 Buick Wildcat? <laughs> Both coaches, Kay Dalton of the Montreal Alouettes uh, with David Ray, 28, and Frank Clare with Kelly Mode at the Rough Rider bench, have been shifting personnel around. On this play defensively, the Rough Riders have Vic Washington, 27, in deep defensively, and Billy Cooper is out to the bench. Second down for the Alouettes. We've got about three to go. Number 47 of Ottawa. Scott Cole is Tomlin. Right at the line of scrimmage, Jerry Campbell came pouring through on him. Middle linebacker number 41 on that particular play, Ken Lehman. Nobody touched him. And when the ball carrier was running right into the hole, Ed Tomlin, who's been injured and playing under duress today, was hit very, very hard by number 41, Ken Lehman. on a tremendous performance here despite the injuries he's suffered. The Alouettes, David Ray, will attempt a 54-yard field goal. takes the cake. David Ray, 54 yards, his eighth field goal of 1968. And that matches the longest field goal by Pierre Guidot of Winnipeg against the Eskimos October the 13th. Longest of the year, 54. The longest in all pro football is 58, held by Bill Mitchell, formerly with the Argonauts of the BC Lions. 18-16 to score. Oh, Scott is caught at the 34-yard line by Ron Everett, number 64. On that field goal, we talked about Don Sutherland's looking like a soccer ball going through there, and uh, this one looking to be a little short and bouncing over. Uh, it doesn't matter how they get over that crossbar, it still counts. Two points separate these teams. Ottawa leading 18-16. Second and ten and a half. They go with the draw to Scott. 
But he'll miss the first down. He got back for seven yards at the 42. Man was surrounded. That play, the Riders decided to capitalize on the absence of 64 and 67, the Alouettes tackles, to try that running play, which almost worked for them. And a flag up in the third quarter. Third down and three yards to go, Rough Riders, from their 42. As the Alouettes chip away at that lead. And good play over Puckett. To Fairholm. Looks it out here. But he's out of bounds already. Phil Brady. Well, it was a great catch anyway. You have to stay within those white lines, though, Don. You can't, uh, you can't be playing outside. That field is, uh, as our darts, our spotter points out, 65 yards wide as it is. Uh, you think that'll be wide enough. <laughs> so the ball is at the 34-yard line, the Alouette's first down. his chest at midfield. Now, Ed Tomlin is back in that football game, and you have to give him full marks for being in there playing with that injury. He was hit hard by Ken Lehman, and he was injured before he even started this ball game, and still playing. It's coming out now. Though. Second and ten, Montreal from their 34-yard line. as they change ends now and that was the thinking to boot that ball deep into Ottawa territory at the end of the third quarter the score is Ottawa 18 and Montreal 16 we'll have more CFL action after this message when you're smiling go for Pilsner the beer that smiles with you it's the true one for you are the lager that's true next time you order just call for a blue because it's the lager with the taste that is true so when you're smiling just call for pilsner the true blue lager beer smile when you say pilsner it's Canada's True Blue Lager from Labatt's with the great taste you can count on any time, time after time. So when you're smiling, just say Labatt's Blue, the True Blue Lager beer. Blue, 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 call for blue. We hope you're enjoying this game and many more exciting games coming up in the CFL. Tomorrow will be Argonauts over in Hamilton, and that's going to be a big one. Winnipeg and Edmonton in the West. The Eskimos against Saskatchewan at midweek. And on Saturday, we'll be in Montreal for the Hamilton-Montreal game from the Autostad on the Eastern Network of the CBC, while Saskatchewan plays BC at night. That last kick by Dave Lewis traveled 73 yards to get the Alouettes in the better defensive position against the Rough Riders. The Riders pin now on their own three. In punting, Lewis now has 48 yards. The Rough Riders average from Van Berkeley is 31, so the Ottawa punting is hurting them today. Jackson with the call from the three. And for Washington. And he's pushed out at the seven-yard line after collecting four by Larry Fairholm, number 19. The Alouettes can hold them here, Don. They're in real good position because of uh, the poor punting so far of the Ottawa Rough Riders. Even with the win, they've been losing yardage on the return kicks. And this will put them in good opportunity to, uh, to move that football and score. Once again, defensively, the two tackles are out for Montreal. Lewis and Ray are in. They've got seven deep backs. Go against Jackson's expected second down throw. He had 
advances the ball for a long first down at the 32. There's only a three-man rush, as you'll see here on Russ Jackson. They put a good three-man rush on him, but he has a lot of time to throw that football, and he hits in the seam, coming over to number 73, Margene Atkins. And that gets him out of a hole there. The gain was 25 yards. At the 32, Jackson and the Rough Riders, first down. Just starting the fourth quarter, 18-16, Ottawa lead. Escape pass is dropped by Vic Washington. Jackson very upset with that when he threw it to uh, to Vic Washington and Washington dropped the ball. And as uh, number 62, Trickstad was coming in, Jackson booted the ball away from him. At three-quarter time, statistically, these teams were just about dead even in total offense. 250 yards for the Rough Riders and 243 for the Alouettes. They had 10 first downs apiece. The only big difference was in punting. Lewis averaging 48 to 31.4 for Bill Van Berkeley. Jackson with the call. Out to Washington. He's blocked at the 41-yard line. And stopped a yard short, it appears, of the first down. Let's see where they put the ball down. It's going to be close. Mickey Sutton made an immediate tackle on Vic Washington. And they will call for the chain to come out from the far side. Ball control is the name of the game now. The Rough Riders must keep it. Out of the hands of the Alouettes, who trail by just two. They do not have the first down. Frank Clare indicates go. He doesn't look as though he enjoys the prospect, but he did wave his hand. Gamble. And gamble they're going to do a yard short of maintaining possession of that football in which they have to keep it away from the Montreal Alouette football team 16 to 18 only two points ahead. This is a key play in this football game. On the yardsticks. The ball goes over to the Alouettes. And there's the reaction of Coach Clare. How about that? A big defensive play for Montreal. It's a game of inches sometimes, and the Riders didn't have enough inches to keep the ball. Let's see what happens with this big offensive unit now. They've given them the break that they need. Mickey Sutton, 34, the backfield for the injury. Ed Conner. He ran outside as Nicole Martin. Williams throwing. Sutton is wide open. They've got to bring this one back. Sutton with Duncan both appear to be over the line of scrimmage before the ball was snapped as they were fanned out left. This is as we talked about, Don. You have to be able in these certain positions, when you do get that field position, to have poise and confidence on that football field. And whenever you goof it up like this, it certainly doesn't help the, uh, the offensive unit as a whole. Ball comes back five yards on the outside penalty near the 47. First down repeated, this time 15 yards. Gray the left to the Alouettes. Motion left. Lehman is taken out of the block by Lewis. Williams will keep. And he is rudely escorted out of bounds on the far side. Billy Cooper and Gene Gaines. Carol Williams a little upset on the back 
believe, felt that it was a little bit late coming out of bounds there. However, he had uh, receivers open real quick, and he elected to keep uh, the football and run with it. There's second and nine. 18-16 the score. Rough Riders with a two-point lead. Washington in for Cooper defensively now. Williams was chased. He had a big rush put on him on this particular play and just dumps it over to Dennis Duncan, number 35. Duncan goes for just a few yards. Third and eight from the 39-yard line are the Montreal Alouettes. Carol Williams coming out to the bench. David Ray, number 28, in the game to attempt the field goal from the 46 into the win. Dave Lewis will hold. This could put them ahead if he's good. 